This is Jim JW Bigfoot reporting live on the C11 Air Pistol. I'm not sure who the manufacturer is, or Crossman or Umarex. I haven't really paid much attention, but uh, this is the culprit right here. This is your pressure valve. This gun had hardly had uh, four CO2 cartridges fired through it, and it started leaking. So I tore it down. I know where all the pieces go because I've added the part five times already. But this is the culprit, and I'll tell you what the problem is. With this one, and probably with a lot of them, this valve here, I got some uh, thread lock on it right now. Uh, let me show you this valve here. I cleaned some of this excess off. I have plenty of, plenty of it on there. And I haven't really tightened it down as tight as it wants to go. Once it gets down flush, I know it'll fit in the gun fine. And I got enough compression on the seal. And as you can see, see, let me set this down so you can see it. The seal here, this remains seal. I tried everything. I put extra shields in there. I put another shield on top of this. Nothing would work. I had this nut here as tight as it could go down. Well, guess what the problem was? The threaded bore, the threaded bore on this shield or nut has a limit to it. You tighten it down so far, and if the shield shrinks past that, you're out of luck. So what I did was, I took it all apart for the fifth time, took the shield out, Took the piercer out, took the screen out, and I cut a little a shim. This one was too thick. I cut a little shim out of a Pepsi bottle, uh, just a basic washer. I put that in first, put some Vaseline on it, both sides of it. Put the screen in, both sides of it. So that is behind the screen. It could be before the screen. But anyway, I put it behind the screen. Uh, then it goes the piercer valve and then the main seal. Now this nut, when you tighten this nut down, if you if you tighten this down, you hit a dead stop, where it just feels like it just stops all of a sudden and won't go no further, you probably have the same problem. Take this out, put a shim behind it, and so you get more compression on this washer. What it was doing was it was going past the piercer, going in behind the seal and coming out and coming out on the edge here. I thought it was coming out the piercer, but it was coming out at the edge underneath here because this nut could not compress the seal any farther than where it stopped. In other words, they didn't bore the thread deep enough. The only other problem uh, you could do is you could shave the thread away a little bit on this nut. It would be a little harder to do. You shave that thread away so that, that they would turn in. So the mouth of this nut here would turn in and compress this. Or if you had a steel shim, you could put a steel shim if it had the right size on the outside here and compress down on that seal. That would work too. As long as that seal gets compressed, it'll expand in here and seal the joint. I don't have any leakage whatsoever. I'm just taking it apart now because I had my uh, my BB gun thing in there crooked and it wouldn't load right. But there it is. That's the way it works in black and white. You put it back in there. Put it back in there, you put uh, this thing there down in here like this. I don't know what to call it, I don't know the names of these parts at all. But that goes down in there like that. That's your BB, uh, holds your BBs. And then your BB, BB block holder, uh, just remember that the mouth of it goes down. It won't match up to your magazine. And the lip, the lip goes in that little, uh, little slot there. So the spring goes down like this. 